come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads, as they shall obtain joy and gladness in sorrow, and sighing shall flee, shall flee away. We light this candle as a symbol of the Prince of Peace. May the visitation of your Holy Spirit, O God, make us ready for the coming of Jesus, our hope and joy. Let us pray together. God of joy, we often do not have sufficient knowledge of your ability to do astonishing things and make a difference through us. Holy One, in this Advent, we ask you make us doers of your word that healing and wholeness might be brought to our world. Help us recognize the sacred in everything we touch and everyone we encounter. Help us to be vulnerable so that we can discover the strength to do the impossible and transform the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please be seated. We now come to one of our uh, beloved traditions at, at Potomac United Methodist Church, and that is an Advent blessing of the babies. So I guess the easiest way is for uh, families to come this way with your babies, and then after I bless them, then our coordinator, Melissa, our coordinator of family and children's ministries, will give a gift. So, families, if, uh, if you'd like to, yes, thank you. Thank you. Bosses are coming forward. The families are coming forward. The, the Moss twins are going to be baptized here on December the 27th. So we'll be singing carols and having much cause for celebration. Okay, and I'm going to ask each one of you how you want me to bless, with what name you want me to bless your child. Noel Rose Moss, may you be blessed and know that you are one of God's children, loved now and forever. Amen. And there's a wonderful story about how Noel Rose received her name that you'll hear at the baptism it has to do with this church okay divers kenrick moss may you be blessed and know that god loves you now and forever you are one of god's children amen isla genevieve ferguson may you be blessed and know that you are a child of god and loved now and forever amen Asaria, Cheriot, Cheriot, be blessed. Know that God loves you and that you are faithful child of God. Be blessed. Amen. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. How true that is. And in that spirit, let us be in prayer. O oh, holy God, we give you thanks for this beautiful day, a gift that will not come our way again. We give you thanks for the gift of family and the children of the church and the family of the church. Help us in the season of Advent as we look forward to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to appreciate and be grateful for all that you have given us. Help us to know your love, to be full of joy on the season and Sunday of joy. All this we ask in the name of Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
The Jewish people settled in their land. Hundreds of years passed. Generations were born, grew up, and died. Great kingdoms of the world rose and fell, and the Jews still waited for the promised one, the king greater than King David. And when the time was just right, God prepared some very special people to welcome his son. Mary loved her village and the hills around the little town of Nazareth. The morning dew felt cool on Mary's toes as she walked to the well for water. Good morning. Who are you? I am the angel Gabriel, and God has sent me to tell you something important. The Lord has blessed you as, and is with you. Mary's mind was full of questions and confusion. Don't be afraid. God is very pleased with you. He has chosen you to be the mother of the Son of God. Soon you will have a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be called Gray and he will save the world. How can this be? I'm not married yet. God will cause a miracle to happen. With God, all things are possible. Mary listened and believed the angel's words. I trust the Lord. I am his servant. I am ready for this miracle. Mary knew this was a great blessing, and she began to sing praises to the Lord. Meanwhile, an angel visited Joseph. He was a good man, and he loved Mary very much. The angel came to Joseph in a dream with the same message. God has caused a miracle to happen. Even though you aren't married, God's Holy Spirit has caused Mary to be pregnant. She'll have a baby boy, and you'll name him Jesus. Give him that special name because it means he'll save his people from their sins. Joseph believed all that the angel said. He was ready to obey. Mary was ready to obey. Together they waited for the special miracle to come true. I will give the world a special gift, my son. He is the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, the one that I promised to send. Endless will be his love, boundless his power. He will be the King of Kings who saves the world. Scene two, hallelujah. Joseph gently lifted Mary onto the donkey's back and their journey began. The Roman emperor picked up a bad time for us to go to our hometowns. Yes, but it's a law. He wants to count his citizens. The trip to Bethlehem was a hard journey for a woman about to have a baby. Late that night, they reached the little town. I'll find a place where you can rest. But every inn he tried was full of people. He knocked on door after door, and he got the same answer. Full, no more rooms, dry down the street. Mary was very tired, and Joseph was worried. He kept knocking and begging for a room. P I mean, please, we'll take any corner, anything you have. My wife is about to have a child. The last innkeeper felt sorry for the young couple. There's a stable in the back. It's small, dark, and with the animals. It's not very clean. We'll take it! Joseph made Mary as comfortable as he could in the damp little stable, and not a moment too soon. For that night, her baby boy was born, just as the angel had said. They named the baby Jesus. Mary looked at her beautiful baby, and remembering the angel's words, He will save the world. That same night, some shepherds were taking care of their sheep in a nearby field. Angels of the Lord appeared to the shepherds with a glorious light shining all around. The shepherds had never seen such a thing, and they were scared. But, an an but the angel calmed them down by saying, Don't be afraid. I am bringing you good news that will be a joy to all the people. Today, your Savior was born in Bethlehem. This is how you will know him. He will be wrapped in cloths and, and lying in a manger. Then more angels appeared in the sky, singing and praising God for the wonderful gift of baby Jesus. Glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. The shepherds could hardly wait to meet the baby Savior, so they went straight to town looking for a baby lying in a manger. When they found Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, they knew that the angels' words were true. Today my son has been born as a human. 
Like you, he will laugh and cry. Like you, he will know the love and comfort of family and friends. Like you, he will experience sadness and pain. Born to be your savior, he will live among you and bring you great joy. He will be your hope and your salvation. Jesus' ministry begins. Scene one. Little children teach a big lesson. Jesus grew up in the small town of Nazareth. Thirty years, he lived in an ordinary life with his family and friends. Everyone knew him as the son of a carpenter. Then one day, Jesus left his village and his ordinary life and stepped out of the world to do amazing things in the name of God Almighty. Jesus called to the children playing on the hillside nearby. At the teacher's calling, the children ran to him. They settled down on the grass beside him, asking questions, telling Jesus of the latest adventures. From a distance, the mothers and fathers watched as Jesus patted their little ones on the head and blessed each child. Jesus loved being with the children. They brought him great joy. But the disciples considered the children a problem instead of a blessing. They were upset that the children were interrupting Jesus. They thought Jesus should tend to more important matters. The children were surprised. The embarrassed parents motioned to their children to leave. Jesus was not happy that the disciples were sending the children away. Wait, come back. Don't ever push the children away from me. They are very important. You should just be like a little child if you want to understand my teaching. The disciples learned a valuable lesson, and Jesus gave a special blessing to all the children who came to him. Please join me in reciting God's message found in your bulletin. To understand my kingdom, you must have the faith of a little child. Think simply and believe. Love me with all your heart and love others. Then my kingdom will be yours. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Let us pass the peace. Thank you to the children and the youth who brought us the word today. You are leaders of the church. You've led us in worship, and you brought us the word. So I really appreciate it, and I know everybody else here does as well. And thank you to their leadership as well. But uh, it was a good message. And uh, we go forward into the service, and as we uh, spend a few moments on announcements, I'd like to invite everybody to take the survey that you've been given by Jackie Sneed, if you can raise your hand. Uh, and I ask her to raise her hand because once it's filled out, uh, she will be the one who is looking at it. So we encourage you to, to give your uh, name and contact information, but if you just want to just wanna give a word, uh, comment or two, or three or four, that's fine too. And then once you finish, put them into the offering plates, or if you haven't finished by the time we're done with this portion, uh, you can give it to Jackie uh, back or during the coffee hour. Uh, and, and I know you may want to mull this over and uh, take it home and bring it back, but um, we, we do want your input, and we want uh, to look at the whole education program of the church for adults and children, and this is our opportunity. We welcome everybody this morning, including our guests, and we take a moment, if anybody is here for the first time, if you can just raise your hand so that we can say hello. 
Uh, we're not going to ask you to stand or speak, but is anyone here for the very first time in God's house that we call Potomac United Methodist Church? Welcome to Potomac United Methodist Church. We're very glad that you're here worshiping with us. And there is a, a small gift that we would like to give you that's coming your way. This is also a chance to remind everyone that we have a coffee hour today that's directly beneath the sanctuary where we will meet our pageant participants uh, and uh, give thanks for joy. Also, there is a um, church council meeting directly following the service that's here in the sanctuary. And a uh, reminder that next week is our presentation of the Messiah. This is a, a beautiful service, and uh, everybody is welcome to bring friends and neighbors. It's a nice one for that. Uh, there are yellow cards also in the many pieces of paper in your bulletins this morning. Even if you're here every week, if you can just sort of put your name quickly and put it into the offering plate, it's our way of keeping covenant with you or any other message you would like to add to this as well. Uh, also, pledge cards. We are still receiving pledges. There are pledge cards in the pews. If you haven't pledged and you would like to do so and, uh, and help us as we look at the budget, um, then th this isn't one of your opportunities to do so, and, and a reminder, I guess. All right, uh, there are six garlands beautiful garlands that are for sale outside uh, for $10 each in the narthex. The youth will be selling them. And this gives me a chance to say thank you and how wonderful and beautiful it is that a, a group of elves, no persons, were here at 8 a.m. yesterday and they decorated this sanctuary in a beautiful way that gives glory to God and uh, helps us to get into the season. And then uh, one of these persons actually vacuumed the whole sanctuary following uh, the decorating. So thank you to all of you who participated. There'll be pictures in the trail to come. Let's see. Anything else for the good of the group? And now we're just going to leave you a few moments of reflection. Uh, Kathleen, thank you for being here. She'll be playing some music. Uh, if you want to fill out the survey now to help you ponder and, and think and reflect, and then we will go on with the service. Just a, a couple of moments. Now, I would imagine that you are not finished yet. Um, it's a, an extensive survey. But this is how important education is to us at Potomac United Methodist. This is the way, one of the ways we go deeper in our journey and knowledge of God. So I hope you will continue with the survey and uh, turn it in when you are ready to do so. And thank you for doing this. And I think a little bit of good news this morning to give you uh, 30 seconds more is that we ran out of bulletins. So that's good news. So I think everybody has access to a bulletin, and thank you for sharing. And so in that spirit, we wait upon the ushers to receive our offering.
generous and loving God, receive these gifts as an outpouring of our gratitude. Continue to guide us, we pray, as we seek to follow the way of Christ. Amen. And before the Commission of Blessing, I'd just like to thank Diana and Nadine. The music was absolutely beautiful, so thank you for your leadership. We have come from many different families to worship as one family of God and as a community of faith together. Let us go out into the